Welcome to Cetus VoIP phone video training series. This video will focus on understanding and configuring NTP for accurate display of time on display phones. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol and is used to keep very accurate time for network devices. It can keep highly accurate time for devices, but for VoIP phones, a high degree of accuracy is not generally required. Because of this, VoIP phones often use SNTP. This is a simplified version of NTP that works with a normal NTP server. The NTP server can either be a local server or a server from the internet. In this tutorial, we will go ahead and configure a local server and then also configure the phone. Alright, let's configure our Linux Debian 8 machine, which I've already pre-installed with NTP. So we're going to SSH into the Debian 8 machine. And then we're going to do a sudo apt-get install NTP. This will install the NTP server as well as the client. We will just be using the server. All right, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and configure the NTP server address into the phone. This will tell the phone where to go get time from. So in my case it's 10.50.1.15. Yours will be different. Apply that and that will send out an NTP request. Now we don't have the NTP server configured yet, so next we're going to nano etc slash ntp.conf. Make sure to sudo that and then we're going to add a couple of lines. Press Control X and then Enter to save that. Then we're going to restart the NTP service, which will apply our changes. Then we will we will use the date command to change the date because the commands we use to change the NTP server um, synchronize the NTP server with the local clock, so we can change the date and test NTP easily just by changing the date at the command line. All right, make sure you sudo that also. Let's check out Wireshark. Actually, we're going to check out our configuration. We're going to press apply again, so it renews the NTP, sends a new NTP request. And we can see a packet from our phone and then a packet from the server. Now have to be careful because if the root dispersion is too high, over one second, then the phone will not synchronize. So I'm going to wait a while and then the phone will, then the NTP server will bring the root dispersion down. So it might take a few minutes before this happens. All right, now that we have the NTP dispersion down, we can change our time and see that reflected on the phone. So go ahead and play around with the date command and watch it change. If it doesn't change, make sure to look at the root dispersion. If it's over one second, it will not sync. Dispersion is under one second, so it does sync to January 12th. Okay. So a couple of other points to be aware of um, when you're troubleshooting NTP and why it's not working is the root dispersion like I was saying it needs to be under a second um, you could see with um, syncing our NTP server that when it was above one second it didn't display correctly on the phone another thing is if you're using an internet NTP server or an NTP server with a firewall like on a different network you will need to make sure that port 123 is not blocked, otherwise the phone will never get out and update. Other networking troubleshooting also applies when doing NTP, making sure your cable's good, making sure you have an, an IP address, making sure that you can ping the next hop. Um, other than that, NTP is fairly straightforward. If you have any troubles, you can always contact us at support.setus.com slash portal slash VoIP or take a look at our other documents.